Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, Dajjal means a liar. He is also called Antichrist. He will lie by mixing falsehood with the truth. One of the ten major signs of imminent doomsday is the appearance of Dajjal. The temptation of Dajjal is very bad and more dangerous than all the temptations of human history from the beginning to the end. The danger and severity of which can be estimated from the fact that each prophet warned his own ummah against the temptation of Dajjal. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min adab al-qabr wa adab al-nar wa fitnat al-mahya wal mamati wa sharr masih al-dajjal. Abu Huraira reported the Apostle of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, O oh Allah, I seek refuge with thee from the torment of the grave, and the torment of hell, and the trial of life and death, and the mischief of Masih al-Dajjal. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Antichrist will mislead people and present the facts in front of them in such a way that people consider that whoever obeys him will be admitted to paradise and whoever disobeys him will throw him into hell even though the reality will be opposite. That is why there is a great need for us to seek refuge from his evils. Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, The hour shall not be established until nearly 30 impostors, Dajjal, appear, each of them claiming that he is the Messenger of Allah. What is Dajjal's invitation? He will first show himself as a believer he will then call himself a prophet and then claim divinity. Humanity will continue to be trapped in the great doubts he has created. Then he will call himself God. Therefore, our prophet has prohibited us to obey him and ordered us to remain alert about him all the time. Ibn Umar reported that Allah's Messenger وسلم, made a mention of Dajjal in the presence of the people and said, Allah is not one-eyed, and behold, that the Dajjal is blind of the right eye, and his eye will be like a floating grape. Every prophet has told his people about the danger of the Dajjal, and informed them that he will come in the end times. Our Prophet وسلم, has given so much detail that no other prophet and messenger before him وسلم, had given so much detail. Abu Huraira reported, God's Messenger as saying, In the last days, there will be lying Dajjals who will bring you traditions of which neither you nor your fathers have heard. So beware of them. They will neither lead you astray nor seduce you. The Power of Dajjal Allah Almighty will give Dajjal extraordinary abilities. However, He will use it to spread evil. He will possess all life-giving resources like water, fire, and food. He will have immense wealth and treasures of the earth. Through this, he will control all natural resources. Example, rainfall, crops, famine, drought, etc. He will walk on the earth as the wind blows away the clouds. He will bring with him fake heaven and hell. Narrated Hudayfa, the Prophet وسلم, said about a Dajjal, that he would have water and fire with him. What would seem to be fire would be cold water, and what would seem to be water would be fire. The devils will help him. They will also appear in the form of dead people and talk to people to mislead them. He will apparently have power over life and death. The severity of the jealous temptation can be estimated from the fact that not only did Prophet Muhammad وسلم, seek refuge from his temptation himself, but he sallallahu alaihi wasallam also advised others to do so repeatedly. Abu Huraira reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to seek refuge from the torment of the grave, the torment of hell, and the trial of the jinn. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Seek refuge with Allah from the torment of the grave. Seek refuge with Allah from the trials of life and death." and seek refuge with Allah from the tribulation of Masih al-Dajjal. 
protective measures against the Jal. Most of the signs of doomsday have appeared. And now, the Jal is also going to appear. We should adopt the protective measures that can be taken to be safe from the Jal and his temptation. We should seek refuge in Allah. As the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to seek refuge from the Jal in his prayers, and he also used to order his companions to seek sanctuary from his temptation. Our Prophet وسلم, also taught us many du'as for this purpose. Abu Huraira reported, The Messenger of Allah said, When any of you utters tashahud in prayer, he must seek refuge with Allah from four trials and should thus say, O oh Allah, I seek refuge with thee from the torment of the hell, from the torment of the grave, from the trial of life and death, and the evil of the trial of Masih al-Dajjal, Antichrist. Surat al-Kahf is another way to get rid of the Dajjal. Therefore, Muslims should recite this great surah every Friday. The emergence of the Antichrist is one of the major signs of the Day of Resurrection and the temptation of the Dajjal is the greatest temptation of the time. In addition to Mecca and Medina, he will trample the world and make countless people victims of his temptations. Facing this temptation will be like a challenge for the believers. The Prophet wasallam has described several ways to avoid this temptation. Narrated Abu Darda that the Prophet wasallam said, Whoever recites three ayah from the beginning of Al-Kahf, he is protected from the turmoil of the Dajjal. Conclusion Like other beliefs of Islam, we should also believe in Dajjal. If the history of the world is studied, it is clear that in every era, the people of truth have been fighting with the forces of falsehood. Sooner or later, victory is the destiny of the righteous. We should trust in Allah and openly rebel against the Jal with full determination and courage. Isolation should be given priority in times of temptation. We should be closer to the people of Allah in order to be protected from any trouble and seek refuge from the devil of the Jal from Allah Almighty. That's it for now, dear brothers and sisters. Please like, hit that subscribe button to get more from us. And get in touch always by hitting that notification bell. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.